In this demonstration, I'll show how to create a swept cut around an existing elliptical shape. Here we've got a boss extrude of just an elliptical sketch, and you can see that I've extruded that with a mid-plane option so that my front reference plane resides right in the middle of the part. The first step is we'll need to construct our sweep path. For the sweep path, I simply want to capture the outer shape of the ellipse and project that onto the front plane. The easiest way to do that is to create a new sketch on our front plane. And rather than redrawing that elliptical shape, I'll just pick on the end face of my ellipse and use the convert entities sketch command. Convert entities just snaps the edge of that elliptical profile and creates a sketch entity residing on my sketch plane. So now I have a fully defined sketch of that ellipse residing right in, in that middle of the in the middle of the part. Let's exit that sketch and I'll rename that sketch path. The next step is to create our profile. Now it looks like the right plane might be a good sketching plane since that's perpendicular to my ellipse. So I'll create a new sketch on the right plane and let's just orient ourselves normal to that right plane. Here I might draw in a rectangular shape with a rounded bottom. And then I'll just use my trim tool to trim across there and then add some sketch relationships so that my uh, my sweep profile is lined up exactly where I want. For example, I might want to control the radius and perhaps the depth of this groove. Don't worry that there's some material sticking out here uh, out into space. It's okay to cut away a little bit of the air, so to speak. And you don't necessarily have to dimension that but I will just to give myself a little bit of extra control over this shape. Okay, once you're satisfied with the dimensions and relationships on your sketch, it looks like I need a tangent relationship here on both of these ends. Once you've got those laid in, you can simply exit the sketch, and now we're ready for the sweep feature. In this case, we're ready to cut away material with our two sketches. So I'll choose Insert, Cut, sweep. In the property manager we're choosing our profile and path sketches and now I can either pick them from the graphics area or I can expand the feature manager tree and choose them this way. So for my profile sketch I'll choose sketch 3 and for my path sketch we'll choose the sketch named path. I get a dynamic preview of what that's about to look like. Accept the prompt and there we have a nice cutout of a sweep that's following the elliptical path and maintaining a constant cross-section everywhere we look. So that's how we can make a cut sweep on an elliptical shape.